what is going on guys welcome to your fourth video and in this video I know I told you guys that I'm gonna be talking you through all the tables in the database and what they mean and what they do but I was thinking about it and I think it's gonna be much easier to understand if I just talk to you guys about the table structure as we add the features for example whenever we work with the messaging system on our website that's what I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what all of these columns mean because if I just go ahead and talk to you guys about all the tables and all the columns right now it's gonna be a little overwhelming and it's not even gonna make sense so what I'm gonna be do is I'm pretty much gonna be coding this website exactly as I would from scratch and I'll just talk about the tables whenever we come to it so the first thing that we need to do before we could build a page to register users or log in or look at items, add items, is we need to build a simple connection script. Now what this script is going to do is basically allow the user to connect to our server and therefore connect to our database. So this is how we do that. Go ahead and build a simple plain PHP file and like I said, why do we want to make this script right now? Because this script is pretty much going to be on every single web page that allows the user to connect to the database. Now, instead of having to rewrite the same code 40 or 100 times, depending on how many pages you have, we're just going to write it once and then we're going to include it in every file that we need. It's going to be much more simple that way. So go ahead and hit save as and check this out. This is the main directory for our website that we're saving this as. However, the main directory we really want to save for the main pages that the user can access. For example, my account, add item, login, register, view item. This connection file that we're building right now, it isn't a page that the user accesses directly. It's just a little include that we use as a developer. So since this isn't one of the main folders that we need them to see go ahead and make a new folder I meant main files by the way and I'm just gonna name mine includes now anything we store in this folder is a file that we don't want the user to access directly rather a little bit of code that the developer needs so I'm gonna save this as connect.php I think it's pretty easy to see by the name of that that this script is responsible for connecting to the database and check it out in order to connect to the database we need to do a couple things first the first thing we need to do is say hey this is where our website is and that's the server that I want to connect to so go ahead and make a variable I'm gonna name mine connect and I'm just gonna set this equal to a function called my SQL underscore connect now what this function does is it takes three parameters the name of your server because there's a bunch of servers on the internet we want to tell them that we want to connect to my server the name of the user or your username and the password for that user to make sure that user has privileges so again since we're going to include this file on the same server that we want to use let me go ahead and show you this database right here is on the same server that this web file we're creating right now is going to be so whenever you have the file in the database on the same server just go ahead and type localhost localhost pretty much means the same computer now for your username remember we saved this information right here that I'm not going to show you guys because my passwords right there but the username is Bucky underscore user we made that in the last tutorial now the last thing it needs is a password for that user to make sure just not anyone can log in and the password for this guy is that thing right here that I'm not going to be showing you guys either but after this what we want to do is we want to make sure that this line of code ran successfully now whenever this line of code runs successfully it returns the value true and it connects to your server however when it runs and it doesn't run successfully maybe your servers down or maybe your password is wrong or something like that it returns false so what we want to do is make a simple if statement to test if this returned true or false if it returned false then we want to output an error message if it returned true then we don't want to do anything because everything's going smoothly so if you couldn't connect to your server this is what I want you to do I want you to run a function called die now what die does is it pretty much terminates your script if you can't connect to your server there's no use doing anything else so go ahead and just die now die 
takes a parameter of a string. So what we want this string to say is, just make your own custom error message, could not connect. And I also want to output, I also want to, um, what's it called when you append to a string? Just append, I think. Add on to this string, my SQL underscore error. There we go. So what this is going to do is this is another built-in function that's going to definitely come in handy. And what this function is, is a string of whatever your error is. So typically you don't want any errors to show to the user, but for testing purposes, you want to include this a lot to make sure everything's running smoothly. So if for some reason you couldn't connect to the database, it's going to say could not connect, and it's going to give you your error. For example, um, uh, maybe user doesn't exist or a password is invalid or I don't know, whatever errors they decided to name it. So this bit of code is going to make sure you connect to your server. And now check this out. Say you have your server right here and this server stores a bunch of different websites and you have like 10 different databases. How does this script right here know that you want to work with this database instead of this one or another one or another one? Well, it doesn't right now. So that's why we need to tell it. So in order to connect to a specific database, go ahead and make a variable called db underscore selected. And we want to set this equal to another function. This is another built-in function that's built into PHP. My SQL underscore select underscore database. Now this database takes one parameter, and I think it's going to be pretty easy to know the parameter of this. Yes, the name of your database. And my database is named Bucky underscore Lisa. So now what we want to do is just like this function right here, on true it's just going to go ahead and connect to your database but if it returns false for example if this database name is messed up or if your sh server shut down or something then it's going to return false so we want to go ahead and ensure that we're connected by including this little bit of code right here so instead of testing if it's connected to your server we want to test if it's connected to our database if it's not then just go ahead and make a little prompt like could not um, select database and it's gonna give us the error like um, database not available or something stupid like that so there you go go ahead and save your connection file .php. now go ahead and go to filezilla and let's go ahead and just refresh and upload all of our new code index and includes in our new uh, files in there so now what we can do is go ahead to our website and run this bit of code includes slash connect dot php now remember we only outputted an error message if something went wrong we only should see this error message if you can't connect to your server or you can't connect to your database other than that we should just see a blank page so let me go ahead and hit enter and we get a blank page which means everything is connected we're connected to our server we selected the proper database everything is running smoothly so that is how you connect to your database and uh, you know server and all that good stuff so in the next tutorial now that we're connected we can finally start beginning our registration page how users can sign up to use the website create their own custom accounts so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video